Good afternoon, my friends. Here it is next week. I still have my insulated climate 30 inch pad, but this time my pump sack came in for this, what we call a flat flip valve. So let me pull it out. And um, the deal is I, I've noticed a lot of people don't know how to use a pump sack. So that's all this is gonna be a short video on showing you how to use a pump sack. Now, most people I see, they would open it up like this, and they, they go, <gasps> wrong, that's not the way you do it. Actually, you, you would kind of open it up as much as you can. It just takes a puff of air, like that. The ambient air will go right in, so it just takes a puff of air. So let's hook it up, and... Um, we're going to see how many pumps it takes to get this 30-inch pad up. Now, let's see. We want inflate. Okay. All right. That's one. This is the full the fourth one and it's it's full I can't get any more air. I couldn't get any more air in it on the fourth one so we're done now that that's how you use a pump sack now I've got um, I brought my permit permit tent that I bought a few years ago so I thought I'd bring it out and update you on how it how it's doing but it's one of the best sleeping tents I've got I don't know why it's like a it's like a one and a half person tent and it's a teepee tent half of it you sleep in and it's got a awfully big vestibule but anyway i'm gonna set it up and bring you back and let you take and update you on that well good morning everyone i was in my teepee tent last night and I, here's the update that i will tell you about that's my hiking buddy this weekend clock hill and uh he calls this the magic tent. It's a TP tent. I've did a review on it in one of my older videos, but I don't know why, but I get the best night's sleep there is sleeping in this tent. And last night was no exception. I only got up one time. It, it's a dogwood winter here in the south. And I um, got up and had to put my tore jacket on and my gloves because it did even though it was six seventy and eighty degrees in the daytime in the evenings it's still just a little cool but it's a tp tent and of course what it is is um halfway here this side you sleep on it's got a massive vestibule let's open it up and take a look at it and i'll tell you a little secret i came up with on how to deal with the mesh was because one side of the mesh over here is is an issue you will one side you will touch when you sit up that is nice waterproof zipper but let me let me open this up we got this reach around door but let me tell you what i found out last night When I found out, this is my deluxe pillow. <laughs> what I found out is I put my backpack behind my bed like that. See, that would keep this mesh, that would keep this mesh out of my face. So put it back there and uh, deluxe see the summit pillow. And uh, there you go. Well, I had somebody tell me because it was a pyramid design tent that the powers to be would come down in that shape. But it's a very, I had, it's a very comfortable night's sleep. It's the best I have is when I sleep in this tent. The only issue was the mesh. It is a one person tent. So you do have that particular issue. <laughs> but uh, I think, I think it's just because it's a little bit small and more 
uh, maybe intimate and you feel I don't know why but I feel secure in there so like I said I didn't even I woke up one time last night and had to put this tour jacket in my gloves on because it was still just a little cool well that's gonna be it for this week and I uh, hope to see you next week